As a follow up on the ceramic wash videos I've been making, I wanted to check out the Meguiar's hybrid ceramic wash and wax that they just released. They released a mitt to go along with it that supposedly boosts the effectiveness. I'll be following the directions on the bottle in the mitt. You can pause if you want to read over it. Essentially, we're going to be using 3 ounces of soap and 0.5 ounces of SiO2 boost per 3 gallons of water. The mitt is to be flipped to the gray side after doing the initial wash pass with the orange side. McGuire stresses the fact that this is a very low foaming formula and it cannot be used in a foam cannon, so I'm not even going to try it, at least in this video. I'm just going over the car and showing that it is in fact flat paint and has no protection. We're just going to do a simple hand wash. I'm not even going to be doing the wheels just because I only have about 20 or so minutes to get in all these shots. Here I am just going to mix the product. Uh, it does come with a little measuring cup so it's really easy to know exactly how much that you're supposed to be using. Meguiar's does call for 3 ounces of soap and 0.5 ounces of the SiO2 boost per 3 gallons of water. The soap itself has a rather strange consistency. Uh, it was kind of cold outside, I'd say like low to mid 40s, uh, but most soaps still don't really look like this even in that temperature. Uh, typically, uh, most of the other Meguiar soaps that I have, they don't start to look kind of strange until I'd say like mid 30s and they still definitely don't look like this. But it doesn't really matter what it looks like as long as it performs. I don't know how easy it shows up on camera, but those weird little splotches, that's actually the SiO2 boost. Uh, it didn't really seem to really want to mix with the water. Uh, once I used the pressure washer and mixed it around with my hands, it seemed to mix pretty well though. I'm being sure to use the mitt exactly like they tell you, uh, which is basically wash the panel with the orange side first and then flip it, switch over to the gray side and then basically rub in the ceramic wax. Uh, this is not really meant to be used as a standalone product, but since I did the exact same thing with the Armor All soap, we're going to be doing the same thing with this. Ideally, you would still have some sort of protection as a base layer for this, uh, such as the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. As 
as I start to rinse, you can already see that the paint is at least somewhat hydrophobic. It's not really out of this world, but it's certainly doing something. For the most part, I wouldn't really say that this is beading besides some patches here and there, but it's definitely hydrophobic. At the end of the day, you don't really want water on your car, and sheeting, although it's not as pretty as beading, it can be very effective. I would say this is not quite as good as the Armor All, which I'm very disappointed to admit. Now remember that this is the after. It does pretty well in certain areas, but in others it's just kind of meh. I'm not really sure why that is. I made sure that I did not change my pressure or anything like that throughout the entire wash. Uh, and honestly, just comparing this to the Armor All Ceramic Soap, I can't see any area that it beats it at, at least yet. To be fair, I did use 4 ounces of the Armor All and only 3.5 of the Meguiar's, but that's not really a big difference, especially considering that you don't have to mix the Armor All. Longevity for the Armor All Soap is very impressive. Uh, as a soap at least uh, and if the Meguiar's can match or exceed that then I'll like it a lot more um, This is an employee's car, so I'll be keeping an eye on it every week. So I'm gonna see exactly how it fares This area here for whatever reason seemed to be the best in terms of beating uh, I really wish that the entire car would look like that. However, that's kind of a lot to expect of just a soap but closing the overall soap is $13 the Meguiar's is 20 if you add in the preferred but not required mitt, it totals 30. So you're looking at $30 for the Meguiar's if you want the full experience and only 13 for the Armor All. I would say that the beading is definitely better on the Armor All, but like I said, the longevity is really the uh, deciding factor for a lot of these things. Uh, so if I can get this exact performance for longer than the Armor All performance, uh, then maybe it's something that you would consider. Uh, but just right now, the price point, it's, it's just not there for me. As of right now, I would not recommend this unless, like I said, the longevity is there. <laughs>